Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa Aqibatil Lil Muttaqeen Wa Sallallahu Wa Sallam Ala Nabiyyina Kareem Wa Ala Alihi Wa Sahbihi Ajma'een Amma Ba'd Inna Allaha La Yukhliful Mi'ad Allah The Almighty Does not break His promises so all of the promises that we have in the Quran from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala The promise of Jannah The promise of Of uh, Of uh, Of all, all, all those rewards And things mentioned in the Quran That if you do such and such action That you'll receive Such and such reward and blessing All of those things From our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala will be fulfilled that although we cannot rely on people in the creation to necessarily fulfill 100% their promises, your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala does not fall short in his promise. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, being the creator of the heavens and earth, is the only one worthy of worship. The only one you can fully put your trust in. Wa tawakallahu aziz al-rahim. Put all of your trust in the Almighty, the Most Merciful. And that's Allah. But it's easy for us, although Allah has commanded us, you know, that, that's easier for the mu'mineen, meaning those mu'mineen that have strong tawakal, strong taqwa, Strong Iman. But many of us are not favored like that. We struggle. We struggle in our Iman. Our Iman fluctuates. As all of us have fluctuated. Even the, the Mu'mineen. The Ibad, Ibadillah Mukhlisin. Those people who worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with sincerity. Their Iman fluctuates as well. That's the Aqidah. The creed of Ahl Sunnah. Is that we realize our Iman sometimes is high and sometimes it's low. And it requires renewal by doing righteous deeds. And that all of mankind is in a loss except All of mankind is a loss except those who do righteous deeds. Or those, those who believe and do righteous deeds. And call to the truth, exhort to the truth. They proclaim the truth. And they are patient. Those are the ones who will receive the promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the promise of Jannah. Those are the muflihun. Those are the ones who are the successful ones. Those are the ones who really get success. Why? Because they put their trust in Allah. And they know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will fulfill his promise, subhanahu wa ta'ala. That if you give sadaqah, you, you will receive uh, reward from that. And you'll receive more. You'll receive barakah and blessings in your wealth. That if you do uh, uh, one righteous deed, you'll receive ten times the reward. These are the promises of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In Allah la yukhlifun mi'ad. And Allah does not fail in his promise, subhanahu wa ta'ala. But again, it requires tawakkul. It requires real trust in Allah. That he's going to fulfill your promise. That you had to sacrifice something in the dunya. You had to sacrifice something in this life. Whether it was your time, whether it was your wealth. Whether it was your life. Whether it was your desires. That's what's difficult for us. A lot of times we want to do such and such. We want to get involved in, in, in such and such activity. Or we involve ourselves in sin according to our desires. But if we gave it up for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we'll be showing that we trust Allah. We'll be showing that we have taqwullah azza wa jal, which is leaving the ma'asi and doing the righteous deeds. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us success.
And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of all of our sins. And may Allah rectify the condition of the Muslims everywhere. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless our brothers and sisters in Egypt with stability and kitab wa sunnah. With the understanding of the Salaf of this Ummah. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remove the oppressors, those people who are oppressing the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in Syria. May Allah remove them and bless them with righteous Islamic leaders who love Kitab Allah and rule by Kitab Allah wa sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with stability in Iraq, in Afghanistan, in Pakistan, in Somalia, in Ethiopia, wherever the Muslims are being oppressed, wherever Ahl Bid'ah, like the Ahbash, is. Uh, um, Distorting the creed of Ahl Islam and, and, and is trying to humiliate Ahl Sunnah. And wherever they are pressing Ahl Sunnah and working with Ahl Zanadika against Ahl Sunnah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from that. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect Ahl Islam and Ahl Sunnah from the wickedness of the Rafida who are attacking us from Lebanon and who are attacking us from uh, in Syria and who are attacking us. In, in Yemen, may Allah bless Ahlul Sunnah in Damajim, bless Ahlul Sunnah in Ma'bar, and Ahlul Sunnah in Aden, and Ahlul Sunnah in Shehr, and Ahlul Sunnah around the world. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve the Muslims and preserve the lives of the Muslims. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless his deen to be spread everywhere and for all of the people to worship him and him alone and unite upon Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala